Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Words of Wisdom Wednesday. We are going to start with our Pledge of Allegiance, so if you could join Miss Yamaguchi and Mrs. Paulino and I, and please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, please be seated. So as you know, your teachers have been talking to you about our character traits and this month's character trait is responsibility. I'd like to share with you a brief quote from a famous American newspaper author. Her name was Ann Landers. And she once said, there are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who say, wait, what happened? Take a look at yourself today and this week and ask, are you making things happen or just watching them happen? Are you making sure that you are doing your work and submitting those on Google Classroom and to your teacher when you are here live? Or are you sitting back wondering why others are doing that instead? Are you making new friends? Or are you just sitting back and watching while others make valuable new friendships and relationships with their colleagues? This week, remember, you as an individual have the power to make things happen for yourself and you have the opportunity to brighten the lives of others around you. Be powerful every day and make something special happen. Speaking of special, we would like to acknowledge some birthdays for the week of October 19th through 25th. And we're going to start off by celebrating our wonderful colleague, Miss Yamaguchi. She is celebrating her birthday this Friday. Yay! Happy birthday! And along with Miss Yamaguchi, we would like to celebrate with Jolene from Mrs. Coons's class in kindergarten. In first grade, we have James from Mrs. Berker's class. In second grade from Mrs. Dixon's class, we have Carly. Yay. And lastly, but definitely not least, in fourth grade from Mrs. Shogren's class, we have Mason. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy we birthday. hope you have a wonderful celebration. And I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Paulino. And I'm going to announce our Hawk Award winners. And our character trait this month is responsibility. Be responsible. <laughs> And now for our Hawk Award winners. In Miss Yamaguchi's class, we have Ellie and Mia. In Mrs. Seidel's class, we have Ellie and Chase. Allie and Chase. In Mrs. Paulino's class, we have Kelly and Mia. Woo, congratulations. In Miss Sanchez's class, we have Justin and Ellen. In Mrs. Broussard's class, we have Ashton and Sean. In Mrs. Shogren's class, we have Trent and Olive and Hugh from last week, congratulations. In Mrs. Gill's class, we have Bryce and Madeline. In Ms. Flanagan's class, we have Tyler Coe and Dylan Klein. In Mrs. Dixon's class, we have Ethan and Jack. In Ms. Smith's class, we have Melody and Hudson. In Ms. Bancherry's class, we have Logan and Declan. In Ms. Williams' class, we have Penny and Skyler. In Mrs. Barocas's class, we have Fiona and Mackenzie. In Mrs. Berker's class, we have Verena and Sophia. In Ms. Duanich's class, we have Avery and Cole. In Ms. Kuhn's class, we have Layla and Hudson. In Mrs. Hanoyan's class, we have Harper Yang and Presley. In Mrs. Fairchild New Year's class, we have Aria and Emily. And in Ms. McLaughlin's class, we have Gia and Beck. Again, congratulations, woo, for being responsible learners. And now we have Miss Yamaguchi with a few words from our Hope View staff. And to introduce our student council, we have some fun things coming up next week. Thank you very much, Mrs. Paulino. As a review, our three Hope View rules, whether we're in person or on a Zoom, are to be safe, be responsible, and to be respectful. Your teachers have discussed these rules with you and have also talked about how they apply at recess. Thank you to all of the students who have been making good decisions and have been earning MAD tickets. And we will be opening our virtual MAD ticket store soon. Something to look forward to, save those tickets. However, 
students, if you choose not to follow our rules, you will be earning an OOPS ticket. And that's what you're doing. You are earning it by the choices and actions that you choose to make. So we need to remember to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible everywhere on campus. We need to use the restrooms appropriately. We need to remember to wash our hands with soap and water, throw away the paper towels in the trash cans. We also need to remember to flush the toilets, please. We need to walk safely to and from our classroom. We need to stay physically distanced in class and outside of class. And we need to wear that mask over our mouth and our nose. But we do also want to celebrate and say thanks to some very responsible student council members who have been working really hard behind the scenes to plan some fun activities for the school and our Hope You community. Next week is Red Ribbon Week, and this year's theme is to be happy, be brave. And so they've planned some fun dress up days to celebrate Red Ribbon Week. On Monday and Thursday, it's put unhealthy choices to sleep and you get to wear your pajamas to school. On Wednesday, healthy choices don't scare us. Wear your Halloween costume for your morning Zoom session. And on Tuesday and Friday, don't be tricked. Unhealthy choices are no treat. Wear orange and black to school. And our very first family fun night is scheduled for Friday, November 6th. And we're asking everyone to get outside, get some exercise. So skate, scooter, and bike with your family. And that's it for our coming student council events. So Hope You Hawks, remember to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Hope for the future and make a difference today. On behalf of your fifth grade team, I'm Mrs. Seidel, there's Mrs. Yamaguchi and Mrs. Paulino. We're signing off to our Wednesday Words of Wisdom. Have a lovely week and we will see you when we see you. Bye everybody. Bye.